Hello, hello. My name is Callista and welcome back to Pentiment. In the last episode, we were checking in with all of the monks and now, now is what I have been waiting for. It is time to confront Guy. We have, we have so much evidence. We know he was embezzling. For why, I am not quite sure, but we know, we know he was taking money from the Abbey and stashing it away. Now I, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I am going to savor it. <laughs> Fuck you. You asshole. You told Gano. I'm sorry he had to know. Oops. Oh, dickhead. Dickhead. I guess he overheard. I mean, he's at the top of the stairs. Gano is close to the bottom. Oops. You are a true bastard, Andreas Mela, and you deserve the very worst of what's coming to you. Brother Guy, I'd like to think we've been on reasonably good terms until now. Maybe, but you're not going to live to see it happen. Say nothing. I mean, I don't I don't particularly like either of the I wanna know why. I wanna know why he was doing it. Do not speak to me again. Oh, I guess we don't. <laughs> I guess, I guess we don't get to know why he did it. He just was. I, okay. Okay. So, Guy, Guy was embezzling money. Because he likes money, maybe. Question mark, question mark, question mark. He just was. Otto could have found out about it. My question would be how. How would go how would Otto have found out about this? Yes, I want before I forget, I want to go see Gertrude about Adoc. If there's anything I can do to help him. Excuse me, there we go. Oh, God bless you, Andreas. Yep. Sister Gertrude, I have need of herbs for chest pain. Brother Adoc is very ill. Sister Gertrude, I need your assistance. Brother, Brother Adoc is of ill health. Sister Gertrude, I have need of herbs for chest pain. Brother Adoc is very ill. Yellow gentian, perhaps? Or Fraxinella? Do you have any? Oh, my Master Mela. Unfortunately, we have none in the herb hut right now. There is yellow gentian higher up in the mountain, but I recall there being some in the forest as well. If you can bring me some, I know of a broth that should be of help. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. I will set out with haste. May God shine mercy on Brother Adoc. Take care, Andreas. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, my next stop was the forest as it is. You know, we got told that the, um, the flowers that the mystery person had on their person... One second, has anything happened over here? That's a thought. But yeah, we, we know that the yellow flowers can be found at the shrine, which is in the forest. So yeah, two, two birds, one stone. And there's no one hiding in the house. Okay. So yeah, to the forest. Now then, I don't suppose could... Yeah, no. No yellow gentian here. But there are a lot of yellow flowers. Okay. I mean, this is... This is sink foil. Yeah. Yeah, my, my memory is correct. Okay, let's see. Hmm... Oh, this is a path. I'd... I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to hold off on that. Let me see if I can find those flowers first. Oh, a yellow plant with elliptic leaves. This might be the one. Okay, let me... Again, let me just see if there's anyone... 
around here to talk to. You never know. Okay, no. No, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm bringing those straight back to Gertrude. I don't... I don't want anything bad to happen to Adok. I really like him. I like a crotchety old man. What can I say? And yeah, there's no one dicking about in the forest. Okay. If, if something happens to Adok and it's something I could have prevented, no, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. I will never forgive myself. Now then, here you go. Oh, God bless you, Andreas. Have you found the yellow gentian? Yes, I have it. By the grace of our lord. There we go. By the grace of our lord. Fortunately, these are a fair bit dry already. Yes, best to grind and mix the gentian into a broth with a few other herbs for calming the body. It will take a bit of time. Come back later, Andreas. Until then. Okay. Pass the time. Got it. Got it, got it. Now, I'm still... I'm, I'm still, you know, a bit reminisced to... to do anything that will pass the time. Like I said, there are, there are plenty of pe plenty of places, plenty of people to talk to. For example, where does this lead? What's going on over here? I think I see an opening behind these trees that leads to a deeper area of the forest. Could this be where that mysterious costumed figure ran when Otto was murdered? We should see where it leads. It could take a while, though. Oh. Let's get going. Hmm, we'll come back when we have more time. I, I want to see what all my options are. I want to see what all my options are because I don't even know who I'm, I'm trying to investigate. I know Guy is an option, but beyond that, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, we'll come back when we have more time. Hello. Nymphaeum. Okay, well, I definitely think I'm going to be exploring a place with a name like that, but as I said, let me, let me just see what my options are. You're right, Smokey. Good to see you, Master Mailer. I don't I don't suppose you have any gossip, Smokey, gossip on who the murderer is. No, it's never that simple, is it? Mm. Okay, yeah, no one's dicking about in this area. Let's let's check out the inn. Again, there might be gossip. Well, hello. Hello, there are a lot of people in the inn. Okay. God bless you. God bless you, Joshua. Good day, Master Mailer. Good day, Killian. Master Mailer, is there anything I can do for you? Nico, have you heard anyone in here talking about Otto's murder? Not just talking about it, but, you know. Yeah, you know. Mm, exactly. He understands Casper, thank you. No, it's cute. Mm, exactly. Like they had something to do with it. Oh, no, I, I think I'd remember something like that. Then again, I try not to eavesdrop on conversations. I don't want to get yelled at, or worse. But maybe you could find more luck talking to people. Beer always tends to loosen people's lips. Buy a round for everyone and you can have the run of the place. You'll be here a while, though. Interesting idea. Maybe later. Until then. Okay. So we can buy drinks. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Samuel. I still don't know who you are or why you are dressed so fancy. Okay, we have... We have 
Hannah up here. Hello, Master Mailer. Anything I can do for you? Yes, actually. You were pretty vocal against Otto in the town commons. What was that about? Just what I said then. I don't want anyone to get hurt, especially now. We've already had one death in Tassing. We don't need any more. What about the plight of the peasants? They're dying too. That doesn't explain why you spoke out. Otto never advocated for violence. You were opposed to Otto's ideas, though. He spoke against violence. Ooh. Hmm. I'm drawn to one of these. Here's the thing. She might just be, she might just hate people. Oh, I don't give a shit about the peasants. I don't care that they're dying. You were opposed to Otto's ideas, though. He spoke against violence. Okay, no, that's that's not a spelling error. Okay. One second. I'd, ideologue? I, I'm going to pronounce that ideologue. Otto was an ideologue. He didn't see the reality of the situation. The Golden Hand relies on pilgrims and travellers for its business, Andreas. If Otto got his way, everything would be chaos. Swabia is burning as it is. We need the law to live civilised lives, Andreas. What Otto was advocating for scared me. Oh. I'll do whatever I can to find the murderer and instill order again, Hannah. Well, it's hardly better now. Otto was the only thing holding Peter back. That seems like a strong motive to want Otto out of the way. It, are you a suspect? You've barely been in this. I... I don't think I want to go with this because it's... I, again, I don't necessarily want to go around being like, did you do it? Did, like, we have learned. We did that in Act 1. We have learned. If Otto is thinking, ooh, could this, could this lady be implicated in all of this? Maybe trying to get on her good side? I don't think this is something Andreas believes, but if he's having suspicions that like, oh shit, this is, this is motive. This is motive. She had motive. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's, let's try, let's, let's try being a bit more like, oh yeah, like, I totally get where you're coming from. Ba ba ba. Well, it's hardly better now. Otto was the only thing holding Peter back. Dear God, I hadn't considered that. I pray this ends quickly. I should get back to work. If you need anything else, Master Mailer, just let me know. Okay, Hannah. Okay, Hannah. I'm... I'm curious if that was an actual, like, she's a suspect, or if that was just like, a, oh, this person has motive, this person has motive, this person has motive, but only, you know, X, Y, Z are actual suspects. Hmm. <laughs> that, one second, that led down to the forest, didn't it? Yes, it did. Anyone hanging about in the church? Oh, hello. What, well, you look fancy. Oh, Andreas, what have you come back to? This is all awful, just awful. I should never have allowed Klaus to publish the 12 articles. This is what happens when common people get agitated by reading nonsense. Nonsense? Is that what you think of the 12 articles? What's the alternative? Forbidding them from reading? I mean... If I understand it correctly, the 12 articles is very much like, A, hey, peasants, you deserve rights. And... You know, there's there's a saying I like. Um, oh God, what is it? I I can't remember the exact 
quote, so this isn't going to sound too great, but it's something along the lines of, to those with privilege, equality looks like oppression. It's something along those lines. And here's the thing, let's be honest, the church is in a very privileged position in the, the day and age that pentiment is set. The peasants wanting rights, wanting equality, that's going to piss off the church. So any articles, yeah, they're going to think, oh, it's nonsense. It's nonsense that peasants think that they could be treated like anyone else. What's the alternative? Forbidding them from reading? Sometimes, yes. Just because a commoner has learned to read, that does not mean he can fully comprehend any book he finds. Some of these texts are written to inflame passions. They are not all written with modest intentions. These pamphlets, these books, can make people crazed, furious. Sister Amelie and I have seen what happens when good people become part of a mob. What do you mean, here in Tasse? What do you mean? Before we came to Tassing, I was the priest at a town near a Benedictine convent. The town was full of good people. But the good people were whipped into a panic by an educated neighbour, the town doctor. He had read the Malleus Maleficarum. It had put ideas into his head. What is this? Malleus Maleficarum, the Hammer of Witches, a treatise on witchcraft published in Speyer in 1486. Theologians at the University of Cologne condemned the book as unethical and not in line with Catholic doctrine. Despite this, the book has enjoyed widespread popularity. Okay. He had read the Malleus Maleficarum. It had put ideas into his head. The author knew even less about women than he did about magic. The witch hunting manual, the author was driven out of Innsbruck, wasn't he? Again, I don't feel, I don't feel like we should <laughs> just be like, oh yeah, magic and shit. Like, let's, let's not talk about this in front of religious people. The witch hunting manual, the author was driven out of Innsbruck, wasn't he? Yes, the word of that had not reached our doctor. One thing the book's author and the doctor shared was a contempt for and hatred of women. In the convent, the doctor saw a coven of witches. In Sister Am... I was wondering if he was maybe, like, using the royal we? No, this is, this is the regular we. You'll go back. I... D I... I... D mm. I feel guilty because this is talking about like some sexist pig being like, oh yeah, and he hated women and he saw Sister Emily and he thought that she was possessed and like, oh, this, that and the other. And I've been going like, I don't trust her. I don't trust her. <laughs> she thinks that God has sent her to sort the wheat from the trough. Like this, I, I feel like I am in the doctor's position. It's not because I hate women. <laughs> I have no hatred for women. I just don't trust her. I, 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 I feel things. I feel many, many things. Because now you'll, you'll apparently, you'll apparently have a long-standing connection. In, why, why not mention this in Act 1? He put, he put distance between himself and where Amelie had come from. He was like, oh yeah, she's just from some some order somewhere, blah, blah, blah. He didn't, like, a normal person would be like, oh yeah, we came from the same area. Like, I've known her for a while. He hid that. He hid that. Why are we only learning this now? I... I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's continue. Let's continue. In Sister Amelie, he saw not a mystic, but a woman possessed by evil spirits speaking blasphemy. But surely the local magistrate didn't believe that. No, he did not. But that didn't matter. The doctor inflamed his neighbour's fears. 
No matter what I did, no matter what I said, it made no difference. They wouldn't listen to reason. They wouldn't even listen to scripture. In the dead of night, they gathered at the convent and set fire to it. Sister Amelie was lucky to escape with her life. The rest of the nuns were not as fortunate. So I am all too aware of what can happen when a mob forms. I should have known it would happen again. This is my fault. You can't blame yourself for this, father. Say nothing. You can't blame yourself for this, father. Why not? I share more than a small measure of responsibility. You'd think that Otto's death would have shocked the farmers into abandoning a hopeless cause. Who would think that? I, I, this, I'm, oh, old, I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm stammering and stuttering, I just, I, it's, it, it's like, it's like a hundred trumpets going off in my head, and in, underneath the trumpets, there's like dialogue, and I'm trying to get the dialogue out, but I can't make sense of it because of the trumpets. I, I just read red flags, warning bells, warning bells. I don't, I don't, why, I, this, this, this is. Who would think that? Who, no one with common sense would think that. No one with common sense would think that. Anyone, anyone with eyes, anyone with eyes and a basic amount of perception or intuition, you know, the ability to read people at the most basic level would know, oh, the guy, you know, getting everyone's hopes up, these people are, you know, they, they feel like absolute shit. They feel like their lives are coming to an end all because of the church. The church is killing them. It has a stranglehold on them. And here is this guy who's like, no, we can live a better life. And he dies. Anyone, anyone with a basic level of empathy or intuition, whatever you want to call it, would know this is going to set everyone alight. This is going to cause chaos. People are going to become a mob because their leader has been killed and they're going to start blaming people and they're going to blame the church like... I, I, I have thoughts. I have thoughts. They don't exactly. I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I want to put things together. I want to put things together, but the trumpets, the trumpets, the sirens in my brain. They are very, very loud. I, I, I think. Sister Amelie does not sound. She does not sound like a religious lunatic. Now, some, some religious lunatics are quite good at hiding that. They sound like normal people. They sound like you and me. But. As, as I was picturing Sister Amelie, she didn't, she didn't sound, from that conversation we had way before, she didn't sound like how I imagined her to be. I, I who could know? It's, it's, it's all, it all comes back to the, um, the letter writer. They, they gave them a name. Andreas gave them a name. I can't remember. I can't. Puller, some something puller. I like someone knows everyone's secrets. Again, assuming there are notes, we haven't seen that for this one. We haven't seen that for this one, but I'm keeping my eye out. Assuming there is someone with notes, someone knows everyone's shit. Who would that be? My brain, my brain goes to well, the town confessor. Everyone has to confess their sins. Everyone is going to do that in this day and age. 
And again, my, my first thought was like, Sister Emily, listening in, she's right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is her window. But she didn't, she didn't sound right. She didn't sound right. I... Could... Could the, the line... I think back to that like like, oh, she, she can't read or write. She can't read or write. Like, why have that in there? That's such a funny line. That is such a funny odd line, especially when the game follows it up with like, oh, that's weird. All the nuns at Kearsau know how to read and write. Why, why doesn't Sister Annalie? Isn't that strange? Mm -hmm -hmm. That, that is the game saying, pay attention to this line. This is a clue. Pay attention. We are drawing your attention to it. Could that have been a red herring? Could that have been a red herring? Because we, Sister Emily brought up before, like, oh yeah, like, it's so difficult to put things on, on paper. Could this be? Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. He's the town confessor. He's the town confessor. He knows everyone's shit. Could he be sending the letters himself? And he knows that Sister Emily, she's, she's rather weak. She's vulnerable. Could he be setting her up as his fall guy? He's telling people like, oh yeah, she, she totally doesn't know how to read or write. She totally doesn't know. And Emily bringing up in conversation with other people like, oh yeah, I can read and write. I can read and write. And people are going to be like, well, that's weird. That's weird. And then, oh, we have these, these notes with this beautiful handwriting. The notes burned. The notes burned. I, I want to see my inventory. I do not have that screen. But wasn't... Fuck, I'm double. I'm double guessing myself now. Wasn't... In, in the library, we found the page. We found the page. It had writing on it. Ooh, look at this beautiful writing. It's the same as the notes. Wasn't it burned? Wasn't it burned? And he's talking about a fire. I reckon... I reckon you're doing this. Could you be? I think. Again, who would know everyone's shit? Who would know everyone's shit? We haven't been introduced to like, oh yeah, this person is like the town. Well, there's there's Hedy. There's Hed. What's she called, Hedy? There's the, the, the lady, the lady who likes gossip. Like, but that's, they're not going into like really shocking shit. And how would, how would she know about Matilda? How would she know about Matilda? Matilda outright said the only people I spoke to were Father Thomas and Mother Cecilia. And the only reason I told Father Thomas is because he's our confessor. You are the only person who would know everyone's shit. You are the only person who would know everyone's shit. This is, this, this screams motive to me. This screams motive. I did this because I thought it would shock the farmers into abandoning a hopeless cause. Because even though I am their priest, I know these people. I don't actually know them because I've never bothered to actually think about what life is like for them. I am so wrapped up in my own privilege that I never bothered to think about their psychology. Therefore, I thought that they would be shocked like rats and that they'd scurry back to their holes. And that hasn't happened. This screams motive. Current theory. Current theory I am working with. He's the one writing the notes. He knows everyone's shit. And he's setting her up as the fall guy. He's setting her up. She's innocently telling people like, yeah, of course I know how to read and write, blah, blah, blah. And he's saying like, oh yeah, she totally doesn't know. She totally doesn't know. So people are going to do what I did. They're going to look at her and be like, that's sus. That's weird. Mm -hmm -hmm. What are you hiding? Also while ignoring him, I think, Sir, no one would think this. No one with basic common sense would think this. As I said, this, this screams motivation. This screams motivation. You'd think that Otto's death would have shot the farmers into abandoning a hopeless cause. It's only inflamed them. Do what you can to keep the peasants calm and still looking for Otto's killer. 
It should never have come to this. The abbot should have known he was playing with fire. It'll be all right, father. Have faith. I don't. I... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm. I'm distracted. I am distracted by my brain. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna go into this. Not not the myth not the middle one. Not the middle one. Do what you can to keep the peasants calm. I'm still looking for Otto's killer. I will, but I fit there goes my timer. I will, but I fear this has all gone beyond my control. Hmm. That is that what you were trying to do? Is that what you were trying to do? Control the control the scenario? Control the situation? I suppose there's no good fretting about what's already happened. I have to minister to the people of the town as best I can, given the circumstances, and pray for the best. Speaking of which, I need to hear confessions for the townsfolk. It's a tassing tradition after St. John's Eve, in case they got up to any mischief that can't wait until Easter. I have to give priority to the locals, of course, but if you want to wait a few hours, I can hear you. You don't have to, of course, but I would be remiss if I didn't offer. In fact, that sounds just fine to me. Not right now, Father, but thank you. Yeah, not right now. Not right now, Father, but thank you. Of course. I saw that line. That line. It. It's like. How do I explain? It's like. It's like seeing something, in um. Oh God, what's the word? Fluorescent. Those signs, fluorescent signs against a dark background it's like there are some lines and e either because you you know they read as like oh that's a banger of a line that's a banger of a line but some lines stick out more than others and that oh you'd, you'd think they would have just given up you'd think they would just give up and again this is this is supposed to be the town priest he's supposed to know these people and again i knew I knew that that wouldn't make them give up. Anyone with eyes could see that. So why did you think that? Why would you think that? That is, it's just such a... It's a sketch line. It is a sketch line, and I... I, I, want, I want to apologise to Sister Emily because I think... Originally, I was like, oh, she did it and he's covering for her. But no, I think I think he's behind all of this and he's just using her as a scapegoat. He's spreading rumours about her and he's actually the one doing all of this. I don't. Why would you think? Why would you think that this would make them back off? As I said, that that read to me is like, this is my motivation. This is my motivation here. I thought it would make them back off and I, I misplayed everything. I didn't understand. I... Sir. Sir, either way, either way, I am out of time for this episode. In the next one, we'll probably head up to the mill, see what's going on there. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.